Welcome to the Anun Lotus Yoga Show. My name is Munson Rincor. We hope you enjoy today's class taught by Master Teacher Harinam Singh Khalsa. We hope you feel more relaxed and feel better. Thank you for joining us. Satnam. The Anun Lotus Yoga Show is pleased to have with us today Dr. Parm Bodwal, our major sponsor of the Active Physical Rehab and Sports Injury Clinic. Dr. Bodwal, it's our privilege to have you with us. Tell us a little bit about the services that you offer at your clinic in Brampton. Hi there. Our clinic is a full-scale interdisciplinary clinic dealing with pain conditions and general health conditions. Our specialists consist of chiropractors, physiotherapists, massage therapists, acu acupuncturists, physicians, sports medicine specialists, chronic pain specialists, exercise physiologists, psychologists, and many more. So it's a team-based approach to the many general health conditions that are out there. And how can our yoga students benefit from some of the services that you do offer in terms of stress management, diet, nutrition, and general chiropractic care? They will benefit strongly. It's very complimentary. We believe in a well-balanced nervous system. And the yoga population, we can give them advice on stress management, diet, nutrition, pain condition disorders. So we can offer that for this population. Well, it's a great benefit to our students. And we look forward to having you with us each week to give us your tip of the week. Thank you so much. Thank you. In our Kundalini Yoga class, what is most important is to do the exercises in a way that feels comfortable for you. All postures can be modified and all exercises can be done at a pace that feels good and safe for our own body types. What is most important in Kundalini Yoga is our breathing, is to breathe very deeply and enjoy our class. So let's relax and enjoy Kundalini Yoga together and have a wonderful experience. begin our class as we always do by tuning in with the Adi Matra Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo and we'll repeat that three times just to set our vibration for today's class. So please bring your palms together at your heart center, tuck your chin in slightly, bring your spine straight and if you wish focus your eyes to your third eye point between your eyebrows at the root of your nose and just for a moment Begin rubbing your palms together and rub them vigorously together and you'll see that you'll create a heat. And as you rub, 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 this helps you to increase the circulation of your body system and bringing more energy into your heart. So for a few more seconds, rub vigorously. Rub, rub, rub. And then slowly now bring your palms apart and see if you can't feel between your palms this electromagnetic energy. It's the same energy that surrounds our physical body, and we call that our aura. And feel that energy in the polarity of your hands. And then slowly bring your palms together, and bring them into your sternum at your heart center. Remember, chin is tucked in, spine is straight, eyes are focused upwards. And begin, first of all, inhale very deeply. And exhale your breath out. And again, inhale through your nose. And exhale deeply through your nose. 
And let's inhale together now to tune in. Inhale. Om Namo. And a short sip. Stay in this position. Let your eyes focus upwards to the top of your head and bring the tip of your tongue to your upper palate. Hold for a moment. And then slowly exhale. Let the breath slowly come out through your nose. And just gently relax your hands into your lap. You can keep your eyes closed down. And just let all this energy rise now from the base of your spine, where the kundalini energy establishes itself. In kundalini yoga, breath or pranayama is very very important it's said that if a person doesn't take at least 11 minutes a day to breathe consciously then 40 percent of the vitality of our life is lost this is a yogic rule and if we don't breathe properly we call that pranayama and prana means life force energy and if we don't breathe properly to breathe long to breathe deeply then our life becomes very shallow and we, you, we lose the potency and the potential of our day-to-day -day living. As we've done previously, let us remember long, deep breathing. And long, deep breathing is a very slow breath, where first we inhale very deeply, and we inhale through our nose, and if we start our breath at our navel point, we call it prana. Prana means life force energy. Pranayama is that breath, that life within us. And at this navel point area, there's a balance. And the balance is of that pranic energy, or prana, which is a rising force of energy within us that brings that circulation, and what we call a bana. A bana means eliminative force. So the body system to be healthy, so that our blood is healthy, our heart is healthy, that the blood stream itself is being circulated, and that flow comes through our spine and goes into our brain, so that we can function in a very consistent and healthy way depends upon the flow of this breath that one part is that prana which is the life force the other part is the eliminative force which works in a downward motion so let us begin first of all long deep breathing inhale deep and start from the navel point bring the breath all the way up hold for a moment and as you exhale slowly now relax let the breath go out exhale through your nose and relax your shoulders at the same time. Let's do this just a couple of times. Inhale deep. Bring this breath all the way up. You'll see how your chest rises a little bit. Hold it there for a moment. Eyes can stay closed if you wish. And then exhale and let it go down. So as we brought this breath up, coming to the top of our chest, holding the breath there. And as we exhale, let it just reverse itself by going down through to the navel point. And in this long deep breathing, do it one more time. Inhale. And exhale. And let this breath go. And if we put our hands onto our knees now, and we do this long deep breathing, as we do a very simple exercise just to relax our shoulders, a lot of the tension which we carry, we carry in our shoulders, in our shoulder blades, and this puts a lot of pressure onto the upper parts of our body and puts pressure onto our heart. So we want to be able to start with this long deep breathing and be able to open up 
our heart area, we want to open up our lungs, we want to be able to relax our shoulders. And if we do this long deep breathing, as we do this first exercise, inhale, bring your shoulders right up to the top, and as you exhale, roll them back, like this, bringing the breath down. So again, with that long deep breathing, and roll them back. And let's just do this a few times, and really bring your shoulders up to your ears. Don't bring your ears to your shoulders, bring your shoulders up to your ears just a couple more times, and just rotate like that. Inhale deep, and rotate them back. And now let's do just a couple times. Inhale deep, and rotate them forward. Just like that, very, very simple. See, I'm using this long, deep breathing, as you bring your shoulders up to roll them forward, bring this breath up as you relax them down. And you can mentally vibrate the mantra Sat, which means truth, as you inhale, Nam, as you exhale. And again, inhale, now bring them up and hold. And hold this breath and squeeze. Squeeze as tight as you can. And now open your mouth and fire the breath out. We call this a cannon breath. We're letting that breath out and letting your shoulders go. Let's do that one more time, inhale. Hold as tight as you can, and open your mouth like a cannon. Fire the breath out, and let it go, and relax the shoulders. Very, very simply, just like that. And just begin now, just to loosen your shoulders. And keep doing this, and keep loosening your shoulders, and keep going. And inhale now, bring your shoulders up. Hold one more time, squeeze as tight as you can. And this time through your nose, very gently exhale, bringing your shoulders back down again. Hello again. My name is Dr. Parm Bidwal. The topic of the week is osteoarthritis, which is a wear and tear condition of many common joints. Many of the symptoms that we experience are joint swelling, stiffness, and pain. Causes, hereditary, work-related, or due to an injury. Some of the common treatments at our clinic are looking at this condition from a global perspective. What we mean by that is looking at all of the causes of this condition. Many people elect for hip or knee surgery and the symptoms do return. So many of the causes may have not been addressed. Once we stabilize you, we would look at preventative um, options such as yoga, nutritional intervention, exercises, aqua therapy. We hope you enjoy the topic of the week. We look forward to seeing you next week. Please feel free to contact our clinic should you have any questions. Thank you. Okay, remember that breath is the breath of life. And if we don't breathe properly and feel the depth of our breath, then again, we lose that vitality of living. And we want to find our vitality and yoga means that union of body, of mind, and of spirit. So once again, just keep loosening up the upper part of our body. Put your hands onto your knees and begin just to grind at your waist a little bit. Inhale again, long and deep, come forward and come all the way back. So we inhale and just do a few grinds going left to right. Good. Just like that, very simply, but feel that grinding motion and then reverse the direction and come the other way just to loosen up in the lower spine area. Again, every day we should be stretching our backs. Now inhale, come to the center. And exhale, and bring your shoulders down. The next exercise we want to teach is called spinal flexing. And in our early programs, we'll do a lot of spinal flexes. That means that we're able to flex our spine so that, again, we can open up the energy flow of our breath through the spine and the circulation of our spinal fluid, which again will help us to become more at ease, more relaxed within ourselves, and feel better and have more vitality in life. Most illness is caused by poor circulation. So let's begin a very simple spinal flex. If we just grab onto our ankles, bring your spine straight. On the inhale, we come up and tuck our chin in and pull our spine up straight. As we exhale, we tuck in, bring our chin to our chest, and we bring our spine in an arching position. So simply inhale up and exhale back. And if you feel very loose, you can go very rapidly in this using a stronger breath. And if not, just go very slowly. In Kundalini Yoga, every exercise can be adapted for the body type. So you may just want to move very slowly and feel how your spine moves. Inhaling up, 
and exhaling, arching your spine. Or if you feel very loose, you can increase. Now, spinal flexes are very important. We do these exercises every single day as part of our daily yoga practice. And that's what we want you to learn through the Anand Lotus Yoga Show, is how to develop these exercises into a daily practice. And just a couple more times, flexing your spine, and just feel the movement. Again, you can go very slow and just feel as a spine. We don't want you to hurt yourself in any way. Or if you feel very loose or after some time, you can increase your pace. But remember, breathe from your navel point. Now continue the flexing, but bring your hands onto your knees and straighten your elbows. And this begins to flex more into the mid-spine area. And again, we're opening up so that the blood flow can happen, that breath, that vitality of a breath can open up our lungs, it helps our spine, and these will make us feel much better. And we want to be able to feel that we have projection in life. Many times in life we feel that life is a burden, and we sit as though the life is a burden. But when we feel this energy, when that breath of life is flowing through us, then we feel more vital. Just a couple more times. Good. And feel the flex in your spine. Now inhale. And bring this breath and lift up your spine, tuck your chin in, and pull your spine up straight. Do it very powerfully. And hold and lift up. And slowly relax down. Good. Take a moment. Relax your shoulders. Feel your breath at your navel point. Breathe long and deep. Loosen out if you wish. You can just move your shoulders a little bit. Good. And take a moment and just feel. You can close your eyes down. And just feel how simple this exercise is but how it immediately calms you down. Good. And staying very calm because we want to learn some breath technique today that can help us in any stressful situation. And what I want to show you now is what's called 4-1 breathing. So we've loosened our shoulders a little bit, brought some energy into our body system, loosened our spine. And if you should just sit very still, hands in Beyond Mudra, let's do this what's called 4-1 breathing. And in 4-1 breathing, which is very relaxing, you'll see in a very short period of time, matter of seconds, we inhale in four parts. And on the fourth part, you want your lungs to be full. And then just through your nose, exhale. And let your breath go. Let's do this a few times, this 4-1 breathing. Ready? Start inhaling. Hold the breath after the fourth segment. And then in one breath, through the nose, exhale, and relax. Now we want to do this a few more times. Feel it. Let's begin. Keep your eyes closed down. And keep going a few more times in this breath cycle. Relax your shoulders. This breath you can use even if you're sitting at home in a chair, for example. You may be in your office. You may be going into a meeting. Maybe perhaps you're meeting somebody and you want to feel more relaxed or you want to be able to communicate better. Then do this simple 4-1 breath and you'll see how fast you'll calm yourself down. Kundalini Yoga is a very simple system in which we state that our psyche, our mind, can be turned 180 degrees within 180 seconds. That's all it takes with proper technique. Now finish the cycle that you're on. Inhale in four parts. Hold the breath. Close your eyes down. Hold the breath. Lift up your chest. Hold. And relax. Good. And relax down. Take a moment. Keep your eyes closed down. And feel inside how relaxed you are. Very good. And now just put your hands onto your knees. And we're just going to do another simple exercise today to help us to loosen our spine. Inhale to the center. As you exhale down, bend over and bring your nose to your knee, to your left knee. Inhale up and exhale your nose to your right knee. And again, go at your own pace with it. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Good. A couple more times. And let your nose come as close to your knee as you can. Good. Get a good stretch. Keep your shoulders relaxed. 
And again, mentally vibrate soft as you inhale, nom as you exhale, helps you to regulate your breath. And finish the cycle you're on, inhale deeply, come sitting in the center. Again, bring this long deep breath in, hold it there, and relax it down. And then just as that relaxes, drop your chin to your chest now. Just bring your chin into your chest and begin to roll your neck in circles. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Inhale as your head comes up. Long deep breathing and exhale as it comes around and through. And just very gently stretch. Now inhale to the center and relax. Satnam. We all have a natural desire in our lives to feel happy, healthy, and to feel good. Kundalini yoga and meditation is a gift that brings us closer to our fullest vitality. For information on our classes, our schedule of events, and to contact us, please visit our website, anandlotusyoga.com. We look forward to seeing you. Satnam. These simple breath techniques that we've learned today and simple exercises, which you can practice for one to three minutes at home on your own every day if you wish, are very good for blood pressure, for diabetes, for any ailment that's related as well to the circulation system of the body. What I'd like you to do now is to please sit very comfortably in your chair, or if you'd like, you could lay down. And I want you just to take a moment to relax very deeply with your breath. So please sit very comfortably in your chair, hands can be in your lap, or if you wish you can lie down on your back, let your palms face upwards along the sides of your body and your feet a little bit apart. And just begin again to breathe very long and very deeply. And as you do so, begin to relax first the toes of your feet and the balls of your feet and your arches and your ankles. And relax your lower limbs and your knees and thighs. Just let that whole lower part of your body become very still and relaxed. Remember to breathe long and to breathe deeply. And we'll finish today's class with a simple meditation using the sound current vibration of the mantra Satnam. And we'll just do this long Satnam. We'll begin inhaling. Satnam. Keep your eyes closed down and nail deep. So Keep your shoulders relaxed now. So Spine straight, mentally hear that sound, bring your eyes to the top of your head, bring your tongue to the upper palate, put pressure, and relax down. And thank you so much for being with us today. And remember that you can join us at our classes at our Nun Lotus Yoga Center in Mississauga. It's always our privilege to be with you. May you stay calm, relaxed, and at ease. And we look forward to seeing you next time on the Nun Lotus Yoga Show. Something off. Please feel free to share these lessons with your friends and family. And also remember to practice these exercises at home at your own pace. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time on the Anand Lotus Yoga Show. Satnam. I am, I am bountiful, I am blissful. I am bountiful, I am blissful, I am beautiful, I am, 
I am blind. 